Vulcanoids is a first-person base-building survival game set in a steampunk universe where humans and technology meet. Players can explore a volcanic island whilst operating giant drills and endure repeated eruptions triggered by mechanical beings. The game was released in Early Access on Steam on the 30th of January 2019 and has remained in Early Access ever since. The developer, also called Vulcanoid, has released several content updates since then, including the ability to play multiplayer, a combat update, new gear and new weapons. The game has received pretty good reviews on Steam, and with nothing better to do, I checked it out for a few hours to see what it was all about. So, is Vulcanoids worth playing? Let's get into it. I started a single player game as I'm a lonely guy with nobody else to play with. The difficulty menu is as you would expect, but one thing you will need to be aware of when choosing your difficulty is the frequency of eruptions. It will affect your gameplay dramatically. I advise not going too hard too early. Unless you're into torturing yourself, of course, and in that case, then go ahead and suffer. The opening cutscene sets our story and tells of how after a series of strange happenings such as giant tracks in the ground and sudden earthquakes, the once idyllic island nation of Adrianos was destroyed by the sudden eruption of a great volcano that had laid dormant for centuries. A survivor of this incident has now decided to return to Adrianos to discover what happened and reclaim their home. As he is a captain now, he decides to drag you down with him and takes you along for the journey to do all the actual work. When you first load in, you find yourself aboard the dude's submarine. The visuals are a little rough around the edges to say the least, but the amount of interactive steampunk inspired equipment piqued my interest. The captain wastes no time in putting you to work and sends you on a series of tutorial quests. These serve to get you set up with a drill machine of your own and teaches you all the basic survival stuff, such as mining. The world looks a lot nicer outside the sub than it did inside. The map is fairly large, and the ever-present danger of the volcano is never far from your sight. Things quickly get more complicated though as you begin to add modules to your drill ship. It becomes clear very quickly that there is a ton of stuff to build in this game, and it can become a little overwhelming if you aren't paying attention. The tutorial quests kind of teach you what to do, whilst at the same time not actually teaching you anything. The game leaves most of it up to you, which I don't mind too much. Too much hand-holding can be a bad thing after all. But as the game gets progressively more difficult, it can become overwhelming, as you struggle to work out what you need to build in a certain situation. As you go about your business, you will soon encounter your enemies on the island. A bunch of mechanical robots that will beam you from a mile away if you aren't careful. These guys are everywhere, and although they're pretty easy to dispatch, even just using a pickaxe, their numbers and reinforcements which seem to come out of every crack like roaches can quickly overwhelm you. The downside to the combat is that there isn't a lot of variety to it. All the mobs are of the same type, with the only noticeable differences being their colour and the loot they drop. Also, the guns you get at first feel a little boring when you think about the design possibilities available in a steampunk setting. Instead of some cool looking pipe themed gun, they give you a standard revolver, and then after a while, you can craft a shotgun. The newer weapons that they've added though do change this, and they feel much more at home in the setting. I collected some resources and built a few things whilst keeping one eye on the eruption timer at the top of the screen. Time goes quickly, let me tell you, and if you don't judge it right, you might be caught out in the open and far away from your ship at the time of an eruption. If that happens, it's over mate. The volcanic eruptions are a really fun part of this game, and the adrenaline rush I got as I raced back to my ship after venturing a little too far on a resource run was huge. The eruption from the volcano is huge and covers the land in ash, which changes the look of the world for a while as you would expect. So how do you survive this eruption? Well, you go underground. Whenever an eruption is imminent, you must jump in your drill ship and dig yourself down into the dirt. This isn't automatic, and like everything else in this game, you have to pull the right lever or doodad to make something work, which is pretty nice to see, but can be infuriating if it's at a crucial moment and you can't remember which switch or crafting bench you need. Once underground, you can travel around using a kind of, I guess like mini game type thing, where you navigate a labyrinth of tunnels to find new resources and new regions to explore. It's pretty fun, and I found it a little relaxing after the rest of the gameplay. There is now a multiplayer available, 
Although I didn't get to try it out, as I have no friends. <sighs> I can imagine it being pretty fun fighting a horde of robots as they swarm out of their drill ship. It should also relieve some of the anxiety I started to feel at having to get everything done before the volcano blew away all of my progress. So what did I think overall? Volcanoids is a fun game that's a little rough around the edges. The crafting is fun if a little overwhelming, and there are a lot of cool things to build and interesting modules to add to your drill ship. They really allow you to make it your own. The volcano timer is a highlight for me, and really adds pressure to get things done quickly. The underground exploration is a nice change of pace, and allows you to explore the world in a different way. The combat is probably the biggest downside for me in this game at the moment, however they have already made some changes here, and have plans to make more. It's not that the combat is bad, it just needs a little more variety to keep it interesting. All the mobs I encountered just shot the same basic attacks at me. It would be nice to see them have some more weapon types. It would also be good to see some different mob design, rather than just the same robots in a different colour. Vulcanoids is an interesting one for sure, and I would recommend it to anyone that likes survival games, especially those that are looking for something a little unique. I will say that you should be prepared to suffer some big losses whilst learning this game, and be aware that you will probably be starting over a few times before you get to grips with it. If they do continue to further improve the game as they have been doing so far, then Vulcanoids is only going to get better. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below if there's anything else you'd like to add about the game. That's all from me, see you in the next one.